job. And it, is a job. it is a job and somebody's relying on you. <laughs> maybe, maybe you should open the instructions. I, I just text my box and I'm like, I'm not coming in today. Clearly the mouse is just being annoying at this point. We are going to be together at Walt Disney World. We Stay tuned, you guys. Very interesting. It's gonna be a good one. Hey everybody, I am in the car right now running some errands. It is Friday and I am driving around to try to pick up the, not, I wouldn't say really the last minute things for Ryan's bedroom, but we're redoing, actually not even redoing Ryan's bedroom, we never actually did Ryan's bedroom. So we're making it his own space now that we live here in Florida and the, um, and we never really did his room. We did Katie's room cause she's like knew exactly what she wanted. Like we went out, did it in like a weekend. Um, actually I should link that video here so you can see how we did Katie's room, how Katie really did Katie's room. She really did that. She and Mike with painting and then we did the decorating and that kind of stuff, but stuff. But anyway, now it's time for Ryan's room, especially since we live here full time now. So we are going with a gray, black, white, and then a pop of color um, is gonna be like a, a dark blue. So I know it's not really pop, but it's just gonna be like here and there around the room. So we have a lot of the things already, but now I'm, I just left the Home Depot and we got his ceiling fan and we got some lamp shades to switch out the lamps. And now I'm headed to Target to hopefully get the comforters for the four um, bunk beds and some pillows. But this is the thing. I am looking for specific pillows for the bed, for the pop of color, for the navy, for the for the dark blue. And I can't seem to find them in person. So I think I'm gonna have to order them online and they won't come in until next week. And I was hoping to finish everything this, this weekend, but that's a-okay. But I've definitely been doing this on a budget. We've been, to, we've shopped um, Facebook Marketplace and I have another chair, his desk chair. I'm gonna um, pick up off of Facebook Marketplace tomorrow for somebody from Facebook Marketplace. And um, just doing some discount things. There's really this time there aren't really many things that I can do myself like there's not like sometimes I'll buy a piece of furniture and then renovate it myself or like sew pillows that kind of thing but for the prices that I'm seeing and what I've seen that I like it's actually less expensive and I found exactly what I wanted like his desk I found on Facebook marketplace it's beautiful um, it's sort of a brand new Ikea desk I love it and I couldn't find anything else that I liked better for a better price that um, I would have been that I would read on myself so anyway that's what we're doing so hopefully um, we will well, probably I was gonna hopefully do the reveal on Sunday in two days, but I think we have to wait until next weekend. But anyway, next weekend, stay tuned because the family is getting back together again. We are going to be, let me turn here. We are going to be together at Walt Disney World. We have not been together at Walt Disney World in a very long time. I'm gonna say probably since April of 2021. That's not a very long time, but right? So I'm gonna say a year and a half. Um, we did go in March, but right, Brennan couldn't come with us. Caden came with us. But now it's the, the Donnelly Five, just for a quick weekend. They have a long weekend at school. Um, both the kids, or all three of the kids have Friday off to celebrate Veterans Day. Um, so we are going to be taking that weekend and going to Walt Disney World. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna be there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So if any of you guys are gonna be at Disney, let me know. We'd love to see you come up and say hi to us if you see us. Um, so we've got a lot going on and a lot to look forward to. It's getting a little bit hot. I'm gonna turn the air conditioning back on. I don't like to have it on when I'm filming because it makes that background noise, but holy cow, maybe I'll shut this. It is hot down here and I am loving it. I was supposed to go to Target, but I stopped at Petco. Because as you know, Edward has been meow, meow, meowing to go outside, and I decided that I needed to have some toys that he can independently play with. So I'm getting a an automatic mouse that's gonna go along the floor and hopefully he'll swat it. I hope he likes that. And then I looked at some reviews in this Flick and Frolic. Looks pretty good. It's like you put batteries in it and that little butterfly flies around so the cats can swat it. And I'm getting them some food. So you guys pray that this works for the kitties. <laughs> I just feel so bad for them and I can't let them out. But I think I've basically looked at everything along here. Hopefully they will enjoy them and it will keep them entertained and having a good time. So now I'm off to Target.
can test. Do these work? Okay, I already put out. <laughs> so far, nothing. I put this guy, wait, where'd he go? One of these little guys. Oh, this guy. Out so Edward could play with it. And he sniffed it, licked it, and walked away. This is the big guns. I'm hoping that this works. It's a little butterfly. And Edward is really not, oops, not so plus by it. I think it goes too fast. I don't know if I can slow that thing down. He's not sure what to make of it. It certainly doesn't look like he wants to play with it. Guys, I need something. Give me something good. Play with something. <laughs> He's like, Mom, when he used to run around outside, that's not what this was like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that did not go over so well. All right, Alice just walked in. I'm going to try it with her, see what she thinks. What is that? Are you curious? Are you curious? Do you want him to start flying? Let's see what happens when he starts flying. <laughs> no, Mom, I don't want to play with that. As a matter of fact, I'm scared of it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, taking it back. Okay, this is try number three. Hi, Alice. Okay, okay, I'm interested. I'm interested, I'm not exactly sure what's happening. I also put a little toy with catnip underneath. She can see it now. She might not actually be in a playful mood. She normally sleeps and rests during the day, so maybe I shouldn't be sharing these toys with her as we speak, but um, I gotta know if this is gonna work. Oh, go Alice, go get it, get it. Clear, no, clearly the mouse is just being annoying at this point. Okay, there you go Alice, good, 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 go, go, get it, get it. Okay. Well, we'll check in a little bit later, maybe in like an hour. <laughs> Up, so yeah. Hey Trevor, you guys, have uh, you met Tre Trevor? Have you been on the vlog before? I don't he, talk much. No, he has. Right. Never talked. That's right, that's right. Do you want to talk now? Do you want to make up for lost time? We're going to Chipotle. <laughs> okay, good Chipotle. job. <laughs> what else? Senior night game to a whole blackout. Football game uh, at yeah. high school. Uh -huh. So if we win this game, we go to the playoffs. So it's no. a huge game. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. Do you have a good well, chance of winning? Yeah. <gasps> that's so exciting. Yeah. Okay. Look at Eddie. Eddie, what are you doing? You've just totally been slumping. Look at you. Hi, buddy. Why do you sleep during the day and keep me up all night long? You know that? Cute little boy. So Ryan was supposed to work yeah, today yeah, yeah. on his first shift. So it was, it, it was a dilemma. You want to? Uh, yeah, and Trevor's what happened. All right. So you know, Ethan and Ryan got a job together. They were supposed to train together today. Mm -hmm. Ethan apparently hurt his ankle. Didn't go to he, school. He hurt, he hurt his ankle. Uh, I see. That's kind of what. Well, okay. <laughs> Sorry, Ethan, if you're watching. Sorry, Ethan. So anyway, he didn't go to school, so he couldn't go to work. So he apparently texted work and said, hey, I can't come in. And, and they said, okay, well then tell Ryan not to come in either. Okay. Now, this is the dilemma. Oh my gosh. So I said, Ryan, why don't you go to work? And he said, because Ethan said I didn't need to go. I said, okay, well, Ethan's not your boss. So maybe Ryan should have called work and said, just confirmed. Yeah. Now, I'm not suggesting that Ethan is would say you anything know. wrong. But your relationship is with your boss, not with Ethan. Right. He rescheduled it. The boss wants to train us together. Okay. I told you this. And if I went in and then got trained, it would be, it, we both are going to go in together and... And it's not about you being there. It's about you calling and having and connecting with the boss. What, what do you think, Trevor? You've worked. You have a job. Yeah. What would you do? I, I just text my boss and I'm like, <laughs> I'm not coming in today. I can't. And he's like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, you might not be a good example. All right, never mind. <laughs> it's not like I'm working at like a Fortune 500 company. But it is a job. And it is a job. It, it is a job and somebody's relying on you. Not necessarily today because you were just training, but somebody's going right. to be relying on you. So from now on, you really have to stay in good communica communicado. That's what happened to your last job, remember? Yeah, but mm -hmm. Dan and me had beef. 
Uh -huh. Okay, all right. Maybe because you, you didn't communicate. Uh, no. I'm just saying. What is in your mouth? Open your mouth. It's like bright blue. What no, you it's, got? A, it's a zero head. Here, let me see. Uh, uh, why do you want to say that? It's bright blue. Ew. Uh, what, it's what? gross. Anyway, we have to go. All right. Hey, guys. Have fun tonight. Thank you. If we're there, I'll let you know. I'll send you a text and let you know. Good yeah. stuff. Bye, Good guys. Day. Thanks, Trevor. Thank Mike is taking the perfect opportunity. Oh, that looks good, Mike. You like it? Yes, to put up the shelf while Ryan is not here. Now, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, Mike. Wait, it's a little bit to the right too much. Oh, I see. It's just under the window. Nope, you did a good job. Nope, it's perfect. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to freak you out. <laughs> that looks excellent. Oh, my gosh. So, you guys, since we have the bunk beds here, we just said we needed like nightstands and we didn't want to put two nightstands. It would have been too bulky and everything. So we decided on a floating shelf here. It can be the nightstand for this bed and the nightstand for this bed. And then we're going to put some poofs underneath it, like some storage ottomans that will um, make that look really cool. There we go. There you have it. Nice work. Now, what's next? Oh, Mike, you are on it. Um, ceiling fan? What do you think about that? That's your favorite thing to do. Look at this progress. It's fantastic, Michael John. Almost up. Well, it's, uh, it's a little deceiving. Because? Uh... Because there's a lot of wiring to do. <laughs> okay. I still haven't opened this up. Oh. So I'm kind of challenged. It's like, should I open it up or should I? Well, can I say something? What? Do you remember at home when you hooked up the fan and you pulled the one thing and the light went on and the fan was supposed to go on and you pulled the fan and the light was supposed to go on? Remember that? And my arm was going like this? <laughs> maybe, maybe you should open the instructions. Just... Just so, I think that's admitting defeat. No, it's not at all, honey. The instructions are there just as a guide, really. You know what I'm saying? No, they're instructions. <laughs> it's like you need these because you can't do this yourself. Right. Well, you know what? If you were a professional fan installer, that'd be one thing, but you're not. I feel like I am. Well, you, you're you not a professional. I mean, you do it a lot, but it's, you're not. that's not like your profession. Do you know what I'm saying? You're not an electrician. <laughs> okay. Now, now I'm challenged. Oh, for Pete's sake. Well, good luck. I'm going to hold you accountable to everything on <laughs> If it's that whisper quiet. Exactly. If it wiggles, <laughs> you're going to be in trouble. Okay, we've run into a little problem. Maybe. Potentially. We're not positive, but there's a piece that... See, Mike's done up there, he thinks. But there's a piece. It's never good hmm. when you have a piece. We think it might be the remote control part. Because here's the remote control. And that says on the back of it, remote control, and there's some wires on it. I wonder if it was listed in the instructions. Probably not. <laughs> you don't think it mentions anything in the instructions? Where would this go, though? It's, like, very strange to me. Hmm. All right, you guys, time out while we try to figure this one out. Where would that go? I don't know. You want me to open the instructions? No. Sweetheart, they're right there. I mean, they're very close. That would be admitting the <laughs> Okay, instead we'll take an additional five oh, hours. With it. Ha! Well, that works. That's very nice. But let me see if I can turn it off. Uh, I can. <laughs> Would you like me to call in an electrician? No. Oh. Look, we don't need an electrician. But I want to be able to use the remote. Hmm. Stay tuned, you guys. Very interesting. It's gonna be a good one. started I'm just I'm just noticing Mike went up and I think we might have fixed or he might have fixed the remote control how are we gonna know you gonna test it that's all you jelly oh wow where is it babe uh, neener, neener, neener. over here okay 
All right, Mike, I am very excited for you, and I am proud of you, and I know it's going to work. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Mm. I gotta take that. There we go. Ready? Oh, wait. How do I turn? Okay, okay, ready? Set, go. <gasps> Low, medium, high. Oh, the light doesn't go off. But that's a... Well, <laughs> not that great, because we w might want to have it on the fan, but not the light. But you are so close, Mike. You are so, I know you're not done, but you are so close. So we have fan. Yes, the fan res is responding Can to all... Can you turn all... the fan off? No. Well, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh! Oh, I just turned off. It went high and then off. Yes. Yes, I can. Okay, the fan goes off. So the fan's going. Right, but the light doesn't go off. The light is the problem. Oh. It, it, look, it's going, it's, it's obvious, yeah, it's going, you know, it's, the light's going. It's sending a message? Yeah. And it's not being heard? Correct. Hmm. Can we just do this? <laughs> well, if we do that, then we can't turn the... Fan on. You know, they might want to go to sleep and have the fan on. You know, most people uh, like to go to sleep and have the fan on. So far, though, I'm very proud of what you've done, Mike. You're so close. It's all, it's, you know what? Hang in there, baby. <laughs> Don't give up. This is hour 17. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock. All right, this is take two. That only took about, oh, you know what? <laughs> Notice something? 18 hours. No, it's not even moving. Mm. So it took no time whatsoever. Okay, here we go, you guys. Hi, Eddie. Clicker. And. Uh. <gasps> Michael John! Now let's make sure the fan works. It does. Oh my gosh. I am so proud of you. There's low, medium. Hey, guess what? I want to turn the light back on. Hey, oh, never mind, why turn it off? <laughs> Hi. Whoa, it's gonna take off. Low. Oh, that's a nice sound too. Sleep well to that sound, don't you? And then off, makes it go up a little bit and then it stops. <gasps> Michael John, you, did you open the instructions? Chill. That really hurts. Oh, I think you might have, which is good. It's okay. <gasps> <laughs> Congratulations. The remote threw me off. I'm very if proud I of you. Oh, sure. Remote. Then you would have been fine. Okay. Right. It's your first remote one. Yeah. Congratulations. I'm Thanks. very proud of you. Thank you. Let's go to the hot tub. All right. All right, you guys. It is time to go to bed. We've had a very productive day. Right, guy? What's on your face? Uh, I black because it was a blackout game. So. <gasps> Oh, there's face paint and stuff, and it's still on there, a little, or so I'm told. It, it is, and you have a little necklace you got going on there, somebody's shirt. This is actually uh, the sleeve of Dom's shirt, because we ripped his sleeves off and made his shirt into a tank top. Nice. Then I put it on as a headband, and then I didn't want his headband anymore, so I just pulled it out of my neck. And You had no fun tonight, I can tell. Zero fun. It was it's horrible. horrible. Oh, exactly. Did, did you win? No. Sadly. Oh, I'm sorry. But I'm winning in life, so it's not. Uh, very good. Very, I like that. I like that attitude. What made you happy today, baby doll? Um, seeing all my friends today. It being Friday, not having school tomorrow, and knowing that the Chargers play in two days. Oh, yeah, because they had a bye last week. I did have a bye last week. It's been a while since I've seen Justin Herbert throw football, and I'm getting anxious. How about your ceiling fan and stuff? Oh, yeah, totally. I love my room right now, and it's only going to get better, so. It is. That's what's up. Excellent. Do you want to thank your father? Dad. Appreciate that. He hung up everything. Like, it's the boy. Anyway. Like we'll a boss. Do, we'll do a little tour real quick before Aww. we go to bed. Like a boss. What made you happy today, Michael John? Well, thank you for asking. <laughs> and Chili, what made me happy today was hot tubbing with you. Yeah, we just got back from the hot tub. Yeehaw, totally fun. After all that work. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. Chilling. It's a nice way to end the day. Hanging out, connecting. Yeah. Very nice. I love it. Just the two of us. What made you happy today? We get, thank you for asking. What made me happy today was also hot tubbing and um, really like 
this <laughs> this ceiling fan i've been dreaming of that ceiling fan for a very long time and the fact that mike was able to put it up and did not let any the challenge of it uh did not let the challenge of it get him down so <laughs> hanging up the mirror was definitely something that he really liked he's been <laughs> Oh, no, oh, 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 uh, yeah, this, this thing goes. Hey, Ryan, where's the bathroom? I, oh, I should say it's that way. <laughs> stop, stop. Um, Someone's been going to the gym. I'm going to kill him. I know. Um, no, yeah, I, oh, yeah, I love mirrors. Mirrors are one of my favorite things, and not because I'm self-centered, but, okay, it may come it across as self-centered, <laughs> But I just like mirrors. I, I think the I think the wonderment of mirrors is very cool. You can look into this thing and you can actually right. see yourself. It's like can that you one, imagine? It's like that one Kanye tweet. He said, "I need a room full. I need a room full of mirrors so I can be surrounded by winners." Wow, that's, that's, I, that's not what I was going with. I was going with like, can you imagine like life before mirrors? You just looked into, I guess, water. the lake, right, the water, and then you discovered me. And you're like, whoa! All right, so this is new today. This is new today, and that is new today. This is new yesterday. And these are new today. These are these are not. Uh, they're progressing. <laughs> anyway. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what made you guys happy today, and make a comment on Ryan's muscles. Way to go, Ryan's <laughs> muscles. <laughs> right. uh, we'll see you tomorrow's vlogs. Bye. For the latest in live happy and it's the Donnellys merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnellys.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.